All right. Well, let's move on to our next story of the day. So the next, the new Denzel Washington in Mark Wahlberg film Two Guns had a solid opening weekend at the box office, taking the number one spot with just over $27 million. Now, The Wolverine came in second place with over $21 million. Smurfs 2 took third with $18 million. The Conjuring continued its smash hit run with another $13 million, bringing its worldwide total to $137 million on just a $20 million budget. That's amazing. And rounding out the top five was Despicable Me 2, making another $10 million, bringing its worldwide total up to a staggering $713 million. So, Dennis, I have to know what stands out the most to you about this weekend's box office results. Uh, for me, it's actually two guns. Uh, it's not. It didn't have a huge opening, but it's solid. To me, it says... While uh, star power isn't like it was back in the 90s and 80s, where stars alone could, like, uh, you know, make movies super profitable, it shows that, like, when you put two well-known and well-liked uh, big actors like Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg, that you can still draw in a crowd. You know, 27 million's not amazing, but it's solid for a movie that cost about 60 million dollars to make. And I know that if that movie did not have those two in it like no one would have i don't think anyone would have seen it you know judging just from the trailers i i think that was definitely all star based so that's what sticks out to me the thing that that really stands out the most is the whole despicable me two numbers this i mean we i remember i, I kind of choked on the water i was drinking a little bit when i first read that numbers it, it has so quietly gone on to make over 700 million dollars worldwide wrap your head around that for a second Seven hundred million dollars worldwide. That makes it in the conversation of you know not not necessarily not in the top ten, but in in like one of the top grossing films of all time. That's a huge number, um, and it's only going to get bigger. Like it's obviously it's slowed down quite a bit now because it's been in theaters for a number of weeks, but it's probably going to finish around the seven hundred and fifty million dollar mark. That is staggering. That is going to make it one of the top grossing movies of the year, and it's not one that we've really talked about a lot or think about it in those terms. So, to me, that's the biggest thing that stands out to me. Yeah, that's definitely amazing. But yeah. I, it's, for me, it's The Conjuring. I love that film. I thought it was so well done. I thought it really brought an element of class back to the horror genre. Yeah. And the fact it was made on such a low budget. And how often do you see horror films really kill at the box office when you're competing with all of these summer blockbusters? It doesn't happen that often. So for The Conjuring to come in there and really surprise everyone with these numbers, I think it's great. And it's a fantastic movie. So I'm really happy to hear that news. Especially for such a tiny production budget. Exactly.